Ladies and gents, it's Mr. Flowers here again. I uh, wasn't sure if I should do a cover tree or not, but hey, what the hell. I'm just gonna bang out this commentary and then hit the hay. Uh, this Apple player is really good. Uh, he's been snacking me about since vanilla days when I first got to G1. And sometimes I used to go into the ranked mode to blow some steam, you know, just to practice some combos on people. And he'd show up with his crazy points. I can't remember how much he had now, but it was a hell of a lot. And now here he is again. 13k and he's got like 4k with the pps anyway so surprisingly i'm actually gonna win this match which i never expected but obviously he made a couple of mistakes and when i used to play him i was always playing as sakura so this is the first time i played him as rose so i don't know maybe he didn't really know what to expect so that's why I saved this one because I was really pleased to win. It was a close one that you're gonna see. So yeah, trying to improve on my rows. Uh, yeah, I've gone back into the old ranked mode again, and it's not as stressful anymore because now I'm just kind of I'm a bit more aware. You know, the most frustrating part before was that I didn't understand the system at all. But now, well, I don't even know how to put it. Now I understand some bits. Like the system, I know the system is really biased, but basically, what it is, it's the people that win and the people that are like intermediate that really feel the crunch. The the best players, the ones like this guy who are winning all the time. They, they probably won't really notice or even care about how the points go up and down so crazy because for them the points never go down it's just they would just get like a one point for beating somebody with 2k or something I don't know and uh, on the other end of the spectrum you've got you know the complete newbies who are losing pretty much every game and so if they do happen to win one game, they're going to get so many points and they're going to be happy. So I'm thinking Capcom probably did this on purpose for two reasons. One I'm thinking is so that it appeals to um, uh, the casual gamers more. And well, they know the rest of us are going to stick around because we've got people on our level to spar with on Endless and stuff anyway. And I think the other reason why they did this is to make it more addictive. It makes it like a gamble, like poker. Like for example, I went to do quick match, I played this one guy and I beat him and I realized he had low points. He only had like 500 or whatever and I beat him, it wasn't too difficult but I didn't want to play him again and so when it matched me with him again and I was joining his session I left and then I went to quick match again and it put me with him a second time so I left the second time the guy sent me a message uh, are you retarded and I said no but I don't want to play you again because if I win I'm only going to get one point if I lose they're probably going to take over 70 points and that is retarded and then he sent me a message back and he said, no, you are retarded because who even cares about points anyway? Well, that's you. You know, they could have made the mode a little bit better. They could have made it so that people can't leave once they're locked in or something. Or they could have just made it like how it was in champ mode, where B-grade players will, pay, will play B-grade players and D-grades will play D-grades, so you wouldn't have to worry. You know, championship mode was a little bit like that, was it not? Anyway, this video here I just put in for fun, just one of the ones you get against the, the random chem ilk, I don't know how to put it. So it's just a little combo practice, and I still managed to drop some stuff. So yeah, I mean, I wasn't upset when the guy sent me that message, but. I just found it funny that he said that I'm retired for that. I know a lot of people don't care about the points, 
and the points really don't mean anything in the real world or in Endless, but come on, if you're playing ranked mode, you do want to feel like you're progressing. If you know you've got a, a, high, a higher than average win-lose ratio, or over 50% win-lose ratio, why shouldn't you have the points to show it? In championship mode, you, know, you did. You had the points to show it. Why shouldn't you have the points to show it? Why? Why should somebody who wins more than they lose be dropping underneath 5,000k? It's not really rewarding. But anyway, when these when when these kind of things happen now, I'm just trying not to get upset about it. So I've been playing ranked mode a little differently now. I try to play each match. Just pretending that it's you know somebody in my friends list. I'm just sparring with them. You know it's gonna be all right. <laughs> so I just have to kind of deceive myself because this is a stupid mode. Anyway, this Bison here, I beat him as well, and I was surprised that I did because he's nearly on 15,000. But you see, he kept doing that. Uh, yeah, that. What do they call it? A headstorm? And he kept doing these slides. But, you know, I read a few things wrong, as you see in there. Got him. I'm always doing that. The empty jump over CLK EX Tatsu. I should probably hit confirm them a bit more. I, mean, I, I just get a little bit happy on the buttons. I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. it. Seems to work most times anyway. Once they catch on to it, then I'll stop doing it, don't I? Unless I've got some meter and I can just FADC anyway. Alright, let's see if I can commentate on what's happening on the match. So, I've gone into my turtle mode. Which is what I usually do when I've lost a, I've lost a round. When I'm trying to trying to seal the deal on the last round. You see me get turtle wish. There was somebody in my list that pointed that out that I do that. He said, "Oh look, Flowey's gone into his turtle mode now." So now I got the upper hand. I just need to chill. He's done his empty thing again. He's trying to do that trap. I think I tried to alter the, because otherwise, why else would I have done it? I told you. Alright, now it's looking bad for me. I've got no meter as well. Oh, what's gonna happen? <laughs> I think I tried to alter again, and I just got the standing hard kick. Oh. Came out quicker than if, if I'd have done a crouching one by accident, that would have been even worse. So I got lucky there, just like with the first fight against the Abel. And I think in this fight as well, I also get lucky. This one, yeah, Rose versus Adon. Now, this guy was really good with Adon. I played him earlier, uh, one of the first fights I played, and I asked him for some advice on how do I deal with that Jaguar kick. And then he told me that, uh, depending on the spacing and whatnot, between the medium punch, which I don't know what that looks like, between the medium punch and the Jaguar, click, the Jaguar kick, there's a gap. And he said, I can probably slide under it there or whatever, but, you know, he said he plays rock, paper, scissors, so as soon as I catch onto something, he mixes it up. So... I think I played him two times and he beat me twice and this was the third time and I beat him just by luck because I was trying to take to heart the, the tips and advice that he gave me and trying to put it into practice and so you know the usual good games afterwards and stuff yeah there's the gap see that was the gap and I caught it that time so yeah when the, you know, sometimes if I'm not feeling too salty, because sometimes I get a little salty, I mean, who doesn't, right? So, you know, if I play somebody that I feel was really good with their character and really challenging, and they might have beaten me really badly, 
like that Sagat in that other video, the 15k one, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll send them a little compliment if they don't first, you know, I'll send them a little compliment, but I'm not the kind of person that would, you know, send some bad mail and say, oh, you suck, or you was mashing on this, and da 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 da, like some other people do. I mean, we're all trust. We we're all just trying to enjoy the game and develop our characters, right? So, see the auto correct. I only like auto correct when it works for me. So yeah, yeah. I, I try to be respectful to people in the game. But if I'm feeling a little salty, then maybe I won't say anything, or I might just be in a rush. So I would, you know, if I'm in a rush, I probably won't send a message. I mean, in a single night you can play, I don't know, 20 different people. I can't message everybody, even though I've got a keyboard, a Bluetooth keyboard. Sometimes you don't feel like typing to everyone. Not everybody even responds. So now I'm thinking, what can I do now? I'm, I'm two points up, I'm feeling good, and I'm thinking, should I keep trying to pressure or what? I'm not sure, so I'm just kind of dancing around at mid range. And then he gets here and he starts jumping in on me, and I'm never expecting it. Does this, I think this gets him. Oh, it didn't get him. Maybe it's the next time. Well, maybe it really happened. I've just been talking. Oh, bad spark. I thought that I thought that I had already done the crouching media punch, but he jumped. And a bad spark came out. A very bad spark. I need Rose S of four to help me out some more with, with my Rose to really tell me, you know, the main stuff to look out for. The BMB combo I still do really slow. I watched a video of another Rose player today, it was Combo Rose, you know, like I'm always trying to combo with Securals, how this guy combos with, with Rose. And I was thinking, hmm, yeah, I only really practice the FADC combos, I don't really practice Rose's hit confirming combos. So, I'll probably start doing that from this week, you know, when I go in training mode, I'll probably try that. And sometimes I don't. Sometimes I don't like to stay in training mode. So sometimes I go into, I go in and play against the CPU on the hardest. And then people say it's bad to do so, but I think it has it has some benefits as well. Because when you play in hardest against a CPU, it doesn't always jump like some of the people in ranked mode do. So you know you can work on your pokes a bit more. You can definitely work on your pokes because. The CPU is always spamming specials, so yeah, I work, on, I work on my perks and my hit confirming against the CPU, and you know, it gives me the feel of a, of a live match. Now look at this, he should have won twice, oh my gosh, twice his EX, whatever the hell that was, whiffed. Now I hate Adon as a character, but props to this guy, he was good, flowers out.